Hey, back at it. This is a bit of a quick aside. It's something I'm going to show. I'm going to add to the experiment, but I didn't want to wait until it was time to do another day for that. So I just, and, and I'm not doing a full run up of it. So I'm just going to show a little bit what I've been putting together. And so we can follow through. So uh, did today's what everybody, it, how much we had rebased for our rebase tokens where we're at today. And how much it is in terms of dollar amounts. I know people like to see things like that, so that's where we're at. But what we're going to do right now is this. Is this, uh, I may be butchering this, so like I said, this, none of this is financial advice or medical advice, spiritual advice, or anything as such. This is on your own. Do as you like at all times. This is something I'm doing and helping the organization that <clears throat> associated with get started with but this is the myr exchange and it's on elron network elron's been doing really well i think i mentioned it a couple days ago so we got to get some funds we got to start a wallet all of those things and i think even when i start the process if you create one it shows the key phrase right away so i'm not gonna um, show it but i will put the links for our the wallet and the exchange um, below and what I also did hold on is that I was able to use some crypto assets that I had or, or you know were able to help transfer that over to Elrond in exchange so I, you know you could get it on crypto.com or uh, Qcoin Binance but if you don't have any of that yeah Coinbase Exodus can exchange for your Elrond so to get you some Elrond may need access i'll put that down there as well if you don't have an access desktop wallet so i'm going to go ahead and create this wallet really quickly uh, but i'm not going to do it in a way where it's going to show in the information that I don't want people to see so i will be back in the magics of seconds first click i'll show things i can show as the first click here it says black birds not have a reset password or you get as a secret phase make sure you keep it safe i understand you had to click on these these were not clicked on I had to click on them i understand that it'd be extra good to keep my secret phrase and back up my private keys my money will depend on it i understand by using while we're transferring real lgld tokens continue so yep the next screen is literally 24 of uh, your key phrases you gotta um write down so now it's gonna ask you three of them to make sure that you did write them down and knew what the words were so i'll be right back i guess it ain't right back to you it's just like blah, 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 second so and voila like magic created <laughs> um so let's access our wallet and so this is where it gets a little weird so when you create it, it downloads this thing called a key store and you tell it where to download it to now it'll be in your downloads and you can save it here i made one earlier another wallet so let me see how this hold on so when i hit select file i then go to which i saved here in the desktop <clears throat> this i believe it looked like an address and it's a json file json file so that's what i select open and then i ask for my password and i'm gonna just pause while i do that password enter hit access no and now this is now i'm going to send some money to this address all right copy i'm going to open up my exodus and send some money over so give me a second all right you can see already pending and it was you know you have no it seemed like seconds to you but it wasn't it was a little bit of time um probably about oh boom probably about i would say granted give it about 30 30 seconds from the exodus wallet sent over 0.5558 of the egld let's go to exchange we are going to connect our wallet we're using the web wallet and i was asking me i guess like to log in again so let me select file select that open put my password 
access wallet. So now we're going to be, you see we're here. We are connected. So now we're going to swap. So here's a little bit of a, what we're going to do, we're going to do half and half anyway. It doesn't matter right now. We need to keep a little bit of EGLD, like 0.05, um, just to do transactions on the site here. So I'm going to swap over. This is kind of like uni swap, sushi swap, spooky swap, spear swap, any of the swaps, pancake swaps, soon to come Sunday swaps, terror swap, any of the swaps we didn't see. We're going to do all the swaps we know how to do. So 0.25, because we're going to, well, here we want this to be max, and we want 0.25, but I think you got to put a zero, because they like things correctly. All right, so I'm going to, I want a half, I want about half, but I'm subtracting out 0.05 to keep, to do transactions as we go forward. So in here, you go up here, I'm going to set my slippage to 1%. I'm sorry, 0.1%. Go here and swap. I had to pause it for a second. I'm a stupid. Uh... So then <clears throat> you have all these. So I, I just hit the access wallet, put my password, hit access wallet. Now you got to hit all. I just keep hitting sign. They keep, it's, it's a bunch of things. It goes pretty fast. Oh, I should have my face on the other side so you can see how these swaps are. I'm sorry, but they usually go pretty fast. So it's one confirmation. It's going to do a second confirmation second. So once I have half, um, once I have my EGLD and my MEX, my MyR exchange token, I'm going to put them into a farm. Why? Because here you're getting 1600 APR. And I'm going to show you a way that we're going to divide it up in a way that we're going to be able to compound. Some people are doing it on a daily basis, and we may as well, depending on how much we're not putting that much in. It's real dope. You can see it from come the other way. When I show this, um, the next time I do a um, with the uh, uh, yeah, maybe hopefully I'll do that in a couple of days where we can do a, a bit of compounding. I can show you compounding on here with this self experiment series of videos. Okay, there we go. I was gonna pause it. I'm not making it. I'm just gonna ask liquidity. We're going to do mix. Max. And liquidity is going to ask for my password. I'm going to pause it. Oops. Okay. Let me did that wrong. Hold on. Okay. When you put your when you put your password in correctly, you see what happens. Let's keep hitting sign, sign, continue, continue, whatever. Just just go through go through and here it will show where it's going through probably a lot of money going into it right now it's moving a little bit slower than it was earlier so i'm going to pause it until we um until it goes but it usually goes pretty quickly all right so it went through you see here check mark good we're going to stake it now this is the stake screen you can also get here from you know we got swap home swap liquidity farms we're on a farm now and we have EGLD, MEX, MEX um, liquidity tokens. So we're gonna go here to stake these liquidity tokens. We're gonna farm them. We're gonna choose the ones we got. We have 0.1242. Let me go ahead and add that into what we have here, 0.1242. We'll see how much money that is in a second. Now, this is called, and it's really complicated, and I'll do it a lot of time going into I'm just going to just show you what I'm doing now, and you can either just do 100% and I'll explain either way or a little bit what I'm doing. So here's what's the amount you can put the max in, 100%, put 75, 50%. What do you want to do, right? We're going to put in 66. 
why? Well, okay, look, you could put 100 in and then lock your rewards and get up to two times the APR. So now, instead of uh, 1,659, you can get up to 3,200 APR. But you lock it up for over a year, I believe. Yeah. When selecting lock rewards, your deposited LP token position is doubled inside the farm, resulting in up to two times APR and rewards. You will receive locked MEX, lock MEX, which can be used immediately to add liquidity or stake them in the MEX farm. Lock MEX will be unlocked after one year, 17 percent month in the first in the first four months and 16 percent a month in the last two. So. You can lock your money up for a year and get double the APR, which we're going to do for some of it. But I'm not going to I get to explain the reason long term of it. So you can either, you know, not lock it up and just get your APR or lock it up and don't, and don't worry about it and get the locked or unlocked max. Right. So we're going to get a balance of both. And I'll explain why as we go along. So right now we're not locking and we're going to get. OK, what's that? And. We're going to, we're not locking and we're getting 66% um, of our unlocked right now. We're going to stake. Let me pause, put my password in. Gosh darn, I don't know why I do it when I, <laughs> I'll just pause that. I just go, I'm just going to hit enter before I uh, do the next thing. Continue, submit. All right, so now 66% of my liquidity tokens will be locked in for one year or not locked in, period. You know, you get beware of a penalty if you exit the funds within the first 48 to 72 hours. So you can still take your money out. Um, well, some of your, your liquidity tokens, but. Uh, you'll get penalized 1%, but we're not talking about that at the moment. So the reason why I put 66% in unlocked and 33 or a third locked is because, remember, the third is double rated. So it'll act like my 66%, you know, so think of it in thirds. I got two thirds and one third, but that one third is doing double. So it's really two thirds. So I got two, two thirds. I got two pairs of two thirds, right? And when those mechs, so I got them both staked, producing lock mech and unlock mech. And so what happens is when they get up to enough rate, whatever we decide, and we'll get to that point. Oh, it's, it's finished that one. So we're gonna do the next one now. So we're gonna stake now uh, the max it is, the rest. And if I did it right, did my calculation right, Give me a second. I swear I got done the first time. Okay, so they're both are they're both will be um you'll see here or what is there? Oh man, we're showing now. I have to um hold on a sec. Wait for that to process. But what I'll do is as that as I develop up um, dividends off of my state max and to get uh, large enough, say like let's say twenty dollars, twenty dollars, right? Then what I'll do is I'll I'll harvest I and mean, I could be able to harvest all of it, the lock and the unlock, even though remember I can't spend the unlock, but I can restake it. So I lock, harvest the lock and unlocked. I turn so you know you'll see here what I'm earning, right? So when this get up to twenty dollars for both of these. What I'll do is I'll harvest all, turn the mech, the unlock mech into Elrond, and then I can stake it with the lock mech that I have. So they should be equal, about equal amounts, because remember, I tried to time it up to where it's like 66% and 33%. And then I would be able to kind of keep compounding on to what I'm doing here. So that's how this farm will work. And uh, what's my price for both? I have to add these together and add it together. I'm going to do that real quick. And so here we have now in there with the 0 0.1242. I mean, I'll probably fix that in a second. It'd be better for um, we finish. But the price, we got about $199.37. So we'll keep an eye and um, we'll come back to it. I could keep you long. With that, I love you. You love you. God loves us, 
and that's all that matters.